Hello guys, my name is Nato Safix, and today we're doing another video, but this time it's not about Counter-Strike. It's about how to get better audio quality for your YouTube videos. Because we've all been in this situation where we're bored, scrolling through YouTube, we see a video, title sounds entertaining, thumbnail looks entertaining, everything seems like, oh, this is just a video that I want to watch today. But um, when you go to click on it and the video starts up, the video quality is very poor. It might be blurry. It might have a shit aspect ratio, it might have a poor resolution, and what will happen is that it'll take away from the entertainment. Now, I'd most likely go and find another video, simply because the video quality annoys me enough so that it takes away from the entertainment of the video. Now, um, it's the same with audio quality. Audio and video quality are equally as important, at least in my opinion. Now... There are actually a lot of small YouTubers who don't get this and just go for insane video quality. And I did this. But if you want good videos, you need good audio quality. And, and I've got a subscriber, and this is actually uh, how I even thought about this video. I saw his video, he asked, or he sent me a link, and I was like, okay, I'll check it out, man. Very nice guy called Psychotics. And I said, how come you don't have any audio editing on? It kind of sounds a bit annoying. And he was like, I don't even know, like, how should I do that? And I helped it out on TeamViewer. Um, but I thought, why not help all of you out? Because there are so many young, like, aspiring YouTube, uh, blah, 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 that I should just help you guys uh, now that you've helped me so much with my channel. And um, the whole point of YouTube is to give off, uh, like, give off the impression that you're a professional and you need to stay professional in your videos because it needs to seem like you do this every day, like this is a job, even if it's not. Because then you'll make good videos and then people will like your videos because professionalism uh, symbols power, I guess, and power is good. So, yeah, you need good audio quality to have power, to have the professionalism. Now, um, first of all, and this is really easy, if we record some audio clip, and we go to this, I'll just uh, click off the arm for record, but you can see that the output meter goes all the way up to the edge here. Now, if we bump the volume just a bit, we'll get a warning saying that 0.7 decibels, oh, this, this audio clip is one, oh, is 0.7 decibels too loud. Now, this will result in clipping, and I'm, even though I just talked about professionalism, I'm not an audio technician or professional or anything, but what I know is that clipping sounds horrible, and if you don't believe me, go and try it yourself. Put in some music, bump the uh, volume so that it gives you this warning, and just listen, it sounds horrible. So, first of all, if you record audio, make sure that there is no clipping. If the volume is a bit too loud, Turn it down. Turn it down just a bit. Turn it down so much that the warning doesn't show up again because clipping sounds horrible and that really can fuck up your audio. Now, um, we'll remove this clip again and I'll just press arm for record. The next thing that we need to um, focus on is the actual audio editing. And um, I use a program called Audacity. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go get it yourself. If you've already got it, that's fantastic. Because we need it for the actual audio editing. Now, to make our lives so much easier, we go up to Options. We go all the way down to Preferences. And then we obviously click Audio, as it's audio we're trying to work on. You see Preferred Audio Editor. And I've picked Audacity. Audacity looks like this. It's like an equalizer with headphones on. You pick Audacity. And you press Apply. And you press OK. And now Audacity is our preferred audio editor. And I'll show you why this is super smart. But if I record an audio clip right now. Hello guys. My name is Nato Safix. And today we're doing a tutorial for getting better audio quality on your YouTube videos. What you will notice is there is a lot of background noise. A lot of static. And also... It seems like my voice is kind of low. It's not loud enough. And and if if also if audio is is very loud, um, it's not loud enough on a video or like just super low, then what will happen is that it it will take away from the entertainment. Uh, you need your audio to be at a a volume where it's it's very good. Like try it out for yourself. Render a video where 
you just totally take off the audio. What would you rather be seeing? Would you rather be seeing uh, this guy? Hello, guys. My name is Nato Safix. Or this guy. Hello, guys. My name is Nato Safix. This just gets annoying because it's so low that it... Uh, you need to listen. You really need to listen carefully to make out the words. So also, make sure that your audio uh, volume is at a decent level. But listen to the background noise here. Hello guys, my name is Nato Safix and today we're doing a tutorial for getting better audio quality on your YouTube videos. Now you can clearly hear when this stops YouTube videos. This is not right. We don't want this, obviously. But what you can do, and I'll actually just show you an even better example because we also need this for the audio editing. I'll just go silent and record an audio clip. And now we can hear only the background noise, the static, that we do not want. I've got a, a pretty good microphone, but you don't need an expensive microphone to get good audio quality. You just need to do the audio editing, and it will be so many times better. Now, I don't have a lot of background noise, as I said, because my microphone is fairly good. But um, what you do is you, you, you record an audio clip where it's just background noise, and we need this. Then you press right click and you go up to open an audio editor and now we've already set Audacity as our preferred audio editor so what it will automatically happen when we press this is that Audacity will open with the same audio clip as in Sony Vegas. Now we can still hear the background noise and what do we do next? Now all you need to do really is you need to go to effect and you need to go down to noise removal, which makes a lot of sense. Now, Audacity is so fantastic. Step one, select a few seconds of just noise. That's what we got here. So Audacity knows what to filter out. Then click get noise profile. How easy can it be? Get noise profile. Fantastic. Job done. Now, go on to the audio clip, uh, the audio clip which you want to have edited. Hello, guys. My name is Nato which is obviously this one, you right click again, press open an audio editor, again, really simple, and now that we've got the noise profile, and you don't want to close this, now that we've got the, voice, uh, the, the noise profile, we can click effect, and click noise removal, and it's as simple as that, you don't need to play around with any of these settings, they should be good, I've never ever touched the standard settings, because as I said, I'm not an audio technician or anything, but um, yeah, I mean, this it's so easy, we click OK, and if you look at the lines here, they'll get a lot thinner. That's because it's it removes the background noise. Take a look. And there we go. A lot thinner, no background noise. Hello, guys. My name is Nato Safix, and today we're doing... And it just sounds so much better. Now, also another effect that I like to use, and I use these two, and only these two, every single time, is um, compressor. Now, don't play with the settings. Just press OK. I read... On the interwebs, actually, Audacity has like a Wikipedia-ish page where it tells you what every single effect does and what clipping is and everything. If you're interested, go read on it. I read that compressor reduces the dynamic range of the audio, and I'm not entirely sure what that means, but I think it means that if you make a loud noise, it kind of makes the uh, uh, voice... Um, a, a bit uh, lower, and if you have a, a very, a very um, like, if there's a close noise and you hear it, oh, it's very loud. Then it kind of just reduces the uh, volume. And if there's a, a, a voice, something that you can barely hear, like if I would were to sit and say, Ooh, so you can barely hear it, then um, it kind of bumps up the volume so that you can hear it better so it, it kind of makes the audio clip a bit more compressed which makes sense with the um, effect here, the effect name and it just makes your audio clip sound so much uh, smoother now if we go back to this and take a listen hello guys my name is Nato Safix and today we're doing a tutorial for getting better audio quality on your YouTube videos now if we look at the output meter as this goes along we'll notice that it doesn't go very far up and we want it to go up into this area uh, mostly because that means that our voice is so loud that it's perfect, really. Now, if we take a look at the output meter, and let's just 
uh, listen once again. Hello guys, my name is Nato Safix, and today we're doing a tutorial for getting better audio quality on your YouTube videos. Now this doesn't sound too good, but if we go back into Audacity, and now that we've used the effects, we can press File and press Export. And the good thing about having Audacity as our preferred audio editor is that it remembers the name. It's the same file that we use, so we can just press Save and press Yes and press OK. And uh, what we'll notice, and we'll just uh, re uh, move this, what we'll notice when we do this is that the audio clip in Sony Vegas right here will change. Look at how the audio clip looks and look at how it looks after I press OK. Uh, actually, you need to press on Sony Vegas, that's right. So when I press on Sony Vegas, you'll notice it changes. It looks different. Now let's listen again. Hello guys, my name is Nato Safix and today we're doing a tutorial for getting better audio quality on your YouTube videos. And doesn't this just sound absolutely amazing? I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Nate Tosafix, and I'll see you in the next video.